What's up, everybody, and welcome to another video inside the media cabinet. It's the most unluckiest day of the year. That's right, it's Friday the 13th. So, I was thinking, what kind of video can I put out for you guys today? Not only is it Friday the 13th, but it is also the launch of Evil Dead, the video game. So, I picked up my copy of that, so I want to showcase... Um, my Evil Dead collection, and also do an unboxing of the video game for you guys. But, with it also being Friday the 13th, wearing this awesome Camp Crystal Lake shirt, I also wanted to go ahead and show off just my mini, um, Friday the 13th collection. Full disclosure, I do not have the final two Friday the 13th movies, and I don't have the Camp, uh, the Crystal Lake memories, the like the big documentary. Um, but before we jump into this video, as a reminder, if you like everything physical media, whether it be movies, 4Ks, Blu-rays, steelbooks, movie novelizations, video games, and Funko Pops, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you like everything that I show in this video today, make sure to hit uh, give a like, and to be notified for every time that I uh, drop a new video, make sure to hit the bell icon. And with all that being said, let's jump into today's video. So, first we're going to start with the Friday the 13th stuff. So, I just got the regular standard Friday the 13th movie collection. What I love about this collection is the first disc that you'll see, as aside from the one with the red case and uh, the steelbook that's came out. So, there's no digital code in here, it's just strictly uh, Blu-ray. Um, on the back, you got each of the titles of the movies, there are special features on each of the discs, and you got a picture of Jason's hockey mask, which for any Friday the 13th fan, we know does not come until Friday the 13th Part 3. So, um, and this is the reason why I love this set, uh, because um, my copy of Friday the 13th is the uncut version. So, there's no art in these, they're just the regular Paramount Blue. So, you got your Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2, Friday the 13th Part 3, which comes with a 2D and 3D version, Friday the 13th, the final chapter, Friday the 13th, uh, the new beginning, a new beginning, uh, Jason Lives, The New Blood, and Jason Takes Manhattan, which is one of my favorites because I am a New Yorker. Um, so that's just the regular base 8 movie collection. Uh, then I have this triple feature, which features the 2009 Friday the 13th uh, reboot, The Killer Cut, the 2010 Nightmare on Elm Street reboot, and Freddy vs. Jason. So, here we have the disc for Friday the 13th, um, the reboot. I'm not going to show the Nightmare on Street one because this is a Friday the 13th video. Uh, and then we have Freddy vs. Jason. I'm throwing it in because it has Jason Voorhees. So, that's all uh, of my Friday the 13th, and now including my shark. Sadly, I got no Jason Voorhees Funko Pop. I'm on the hunt for one. I'll get one eventually. So, um, and now we jump into the second part of this video, uh, which is uh, the Evil Dead showcase. Um, again, full disclosure, one of the movies that I have in the showcase, I'm showing off because it has a Evil Dead kind of setting, but it's a massive twist. Um, before I get into the physical, like, media stuff, um, I first want to show off this, uh, is a Ash Williams Funko Pop, uh, an excellent one of Bruce Campbell from the Stars Netflix series Ash vs. Evil Dead. Uh, he's got his trusty boomstick and, of course, his chainsaw. One of the things that I forgot to grab for this video, it's sitting on my PlayStation rack. Um, I do have Evil Dead, a fistful of boomstick for PlayStation 2. Um, I've been on the hunt for the second Evil Dead game um, for PlayStation 2, and I know that there is another one, Hail to the King, um, for PlayStation 1. Sadly, I don't have that. Um, so, but, uh, yeah, that was my Funko Pop. 
Um, but now let's get into um, DVDs and everything. So first we have this Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2 double feature. Just strictly Blu-ray, no um, DVD, no 4K. I know there's a 4K steelbook that I really wish that I would have waited to grab. I bought this when I, I forget what happened, but I just went on like on a horror spree. So here we got both of them. You got your disc for the Evil Dead, and then you got your disc for Evil Dead 2, Dead by Dawn. From there, we move on to what is technically known as Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness. Absolutely love this movie. Um, anyone that is afraid of horror movies, if you're looking for one to jump into, I uh, recommend this one. It's not too scary, it's just the right amount of uh, comedy and horror. Um, and of course, it's directed by Sam Remy, so it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, this is the Screwhead Edition, and I acquired this at an FYE. Um, and we got some nice art on um, on the disc with some like blood splatter and everything. Nothing really big. Uh, then we have the reboot, and you can look at this as like Evil Dead Four if you want to. Um, this is the 2012-2013, I believe version. I can't, I'm trying to remember what year this came out. Um, I did an unboxing for this, uh, uh as a separate video. Um, but yeah, just inside, you got nice disc art and everything. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen an Evil Dead movie, this movie is scary as hell, but it's really fun to watch. Um, and of course, um, I'm including this, like I said, at the beginning of the video, because it has an Evil Dead vibe, even though it's not Evil Dead, um, and that's uh, the cabin in the woods. Uh, I did a separate unboxing for this, so I'm not going to go ahead and break it down. Um, you can check out my uh, my channel for that video. Uh, this movie is really fun, and is also, like I said, full word, but it's effed up. So, uh, this is the Best Buy 4K Blu-ray digital copy steelbook. Um, I know Best Buy still has some of these in stock. Great price, too, so if you don't have it, go pick one up. Um, and then, uh, final thing. Uh, this is the big video game release uh, for today. Uh, we have Evil Dead, uh, the game. Uh, this is from Saber Entertainment and Boss Team Games. Um, they are, I believe they are the same people that worked on Friday the 13th, the video game. Um, and I think they also had something to do with Dead by Daylight. Um, never played Dead by Daylight. Tried playing the Friday the 13th game with PlayStation Now, but it was all laggy. Um, so, uh, I've never played a game like this, so this is going to be exciting. Uh, basically, the whole reason why I got this was because it's Evil Dead, and I, I love Bruce Campbell, and this is his last hurrah as Ash Williams. Um, so, you got your cover. This is just a standard. I know that there was a deluxe and, like, a collector's edition, but it was from a third-party website, so I only pre-order my games or pick up games from my Best Buy, Target, or GameStop, uh, mainly GameStop. And of course, it's rated M for mature for intense violence, blood and gore, partial nudity, language, mature 17 plus. Uh, one player network, no offline mode. It features network features, four to five uh, network players with PlayStation Plus subscription required, seven gigabytes minimum, and features vibration function supported. Uh, and it says on the back, it says, come get some. Uh, step into the shoes of Ash Williams or his friends and experience over-the-top co-op and PvP multiplayer action. Fight for good as a team of four survivors to take down deadites and evil forces, or take control of the powerful Condalian demon in a game inspired by the Evil Dead universe featuring costumes and characters from the Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and Ash vs. Evil Dead. It features iconic Characters and arsenal of weapons play as a survivor or play as evil. You want to pause that, take a look. You know, I read everything for you. You can pause it, take a look. Uh, it comes now. This regular, this is just like I said, this is just a standard pre order. So, uh, copy it comes with two um, costumes, it comes with the Gallant Knight outfit from Army of Darkness and the S Smart employee. 
al um, outfit, which could be seen from uh, the end of Army of Darkness, and uh, I can't say Ash vs. Evil Dead because he worked at a different store in Ash vs. Evil Dead, so I will be using this code for my downloadable content, uh, and then here we have an awesome disc, awesome disc art. Uh, it's awesome to see, you know, Bruce Campbell come back one last time uh, for this iconic character. When they first um, mentioned that, that they were working on an Evil Dead game, I thought it was going to be like Fistful of Boomstick and Evil Dead Regeneration. Um, but this is going to be fun to play. Any fan of Evil Dead is going to want to pick up uh, this game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop it in my PlayStation, get it loaded up, and... Uh, yeah, groovy. So, with all that being said, thank you very much for clicking on this video. Happy Friday the 13th, and happy Evil Dead release day. Um, congratulations to Saber Entertainment and Boss Team Games for releasing this game. Um, I know there's a lot of hype and anticipation for it. So, um, but uh, with all that being said, once again, if you like everything physical media, make sure to hit that phys uh, hit that physical button, <laughs> hit that subscribe button, uh, drop a like, and leave a comment. Are you Team Jason or Team Freddy? And what is your favorite uh, Friday the Thirteenth movie? And also, are you excited for Evil Dead, the video game? Are you going to pick up a copy? Um, let me know down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time inside the media cabinet.